Lie number three in the 101 lies taught in church every Sunday is this. When you became a Christian, God changed your life. When you became a Christian, God changed your life. Have you heard that? Have you believed that? Well, the truth of grace is that what God did is much better and much stronger than simply changing your life. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 40, They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. The Hebrew word renew there, one word, one way it's used is that it means to be substituted. When Hudson Taylor was reading that verse, he locked in on that word renewed and he coined the phrase that has become known as the exchanged life. What I call the grace walk, many people for years have called the exchanged life. The exchanged life or the grace walk means that God didn't just change us, but he took the person that we were when we trusted him and he put that person to death and he gave us a brand new life in its place. The person you were before you were a Christian died. God didn't change that person at salvation. That person died. Romans 6.6 6 says, Knowing this, that our old man was crucified with him so that the body of sin would be destroyed. Romans 6.3 says, Do you not know that as many of us as were baptized into Jesus were baptized into his death? Let me give you one more. Colossians 3.3 3, For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Make no mistake about it. The Bible teaches that you died at salvation. And so do you understand then when I say that God did not change your life what I mean by that? No. He took the old life you had before and he put that life to death. He exchanged it. He gave you a new life. If anybody's in Christ, he's a new creation. He gave you a new life. He created a person who has not been in existence before by placing the life of Jesus Christ in you. So the idea that at salvation, God changes our life? No, that's a lie. The truth of the Bible is at salvation, God exchanges our life and gives us a new life in place of the old one by placing the very life of Jesus Christ into us. Now that is the truth of the Bible, and that's a truth that will set you free in your own grace walk.